Welcome to today's video, everybody. I don't really know how to start this, but we're in an undisclosed location mm -hmm. um, here in Japan, and we are checking out Advan Yokohama's Hero Cars collection today. Like all the Hero Cars throughout history are here. <laughs> and just looking from where I am now into the building facility, I am mind blown. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try and film as much as we can. Uh, we've got to be very careful because of the location and all that kind of stuff has to stay under wraps, but I hope you're excited. I am way too excited to go inside and just look at some of these cars. There's a lot of insane stuff here from history and throughout motorsports here in Japan. So yeah, I don't really know what to say, but can we go inside and have a look? Yes, <laughs> let's go. I was not expecting it to be this nuts. Yeah, it's, 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 it's gonna be good. Yes. So this is the entrance guys, starting off with the Advan Yokohama Super Drift Car. And I'm sure you can see a little bit of what's going on inside there, but just be ready. So beautiful Mark V Supra, and the Advan Yokohama livery. This car actually gets used for a lot of promos. Um, you've probably seen a fair few ads on like Formula Drifts, um, live stream and all that kind of stuff with this car featured in it. And then they've got the GR Yaris. And then this is where it starts to get absolutely insane. So forgive me, but I don't really want to spend too much time on the new cars. I want to look at stuff like this. And this is very special because if you remember a long time ago, one of my most viewed videos on the channel, we checked out an abandoned old uh, JGTC, like old GT race car essentially. And it was a Supra and it was abandoned out the front. You remember the yellow and the blue one. And this is from that same series. And it's so cool to see it in person, in good condition, not abandoned and left outside to rust and rot. This is still in drivable functioning condition, which is insane. So we'll get to go and look at this more. But the more and more I look at these cars, that are just stacked up here, it is insane. Okay, well, what's happening, Sam? Um, they want to see if I fit in this car. <laughs> I warned him, I said probably not gonna fit, but he wants to try. Man, the arrow on this is... All dry color. So cool. So what was this race in? This looks fairly new. This car is Super Ah, okay. The world is fast. It's fast. It's fast. So this is the second fastest car in the world. In that series? In that series. The way that the seats work in this are insane. There's no way my feet are going in there. I have to take my shoes off for sure. <laughs> Japanese way. It has a halo, so you know it's fairly new when it has a halo. <laughs> there is no space in it. My butt doesn't fit in this. Seat. Motto, motto. You gotta. That's as far as it'll go. My legs are, my knees are not. I don't like this. Okay, no, no. <laughs> but I'm kind of in. All the course is like on the steering wheel too. Sugoi. I can't imagine driving this. Like, because you have. Gas Oh, yeah. I don't think this is good again. <laughs> Just wear it, wear it. What, dude? Gonna crap. Yeah, I don't fit in this at all. You'd have to build a custom seat for me. Well, I don't know. 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 I can't even move the wheel that much, though. 
<laughs> my wrists are gonna break. <laughs> oh my god. We're kind of in. We're kind of Look in. Look how tight it is for it's you. It's very though. tight. My butt hurts so much. I don't know who this seat was molded after, but it's bad. ECU up, down, age, drink. It's a drink button. Drink. Yeah. So my question is, is there's no, like, where's the gearing on this? ギアはどこにあるんですかこの車。ギアね、ホンダはついてんだけどこれに。ああ、でもそれ今ついてない。ああ、オッケー。そう、it's so been removed so everyone in these cars is just using their left foot to brake. Interesting, I didn't know that. F1 F1 start uh, I didn't know that. This is crazy. Like, definitely I'm not an F1 driver because I'm too, like, broad-shouldered and long arms, so it'd be impossible, but it's cool. Also, my head is higher than the halo, so I probably die. <laughs> we just say like the halo with me is like it, it means nothing to have a halo with my head sticking out this high. This is gonna hurt. You all right? I'm okay. My butt hurts a lot. This seat is definitely not shaped for me. There was no way I was fitting in there with my shoes on. <laughs> wow. I don't know. All of these cars here from the F series here in Japan. I think May, you said it was mainly going to be like the F2000 series. We're putting you on the spot here. No, it's okay. I got the homework from Yokohama to study all these. Yeah, so, so <laughs> my. So a little backstory. I only recently pretty much got into cars um, and very heavily into the drifting era, but I don't know much about the history of a lot of this racing stuff. I never really got hardcore into racing. I could never sit there and watch the TV and watch people go around laps and all that kind of stuff. Well, you, ADHD you things, now. but that's, that's what I like, like I have to do it. I can't watch it if that makes sense. All right, I think you guys understand that, right? Anyways, so I don't know a ton about this history stuff. Now, obviously I look at these cars and I'm mind blown by them. And when I start to learn about the history of them and look at it later, then I'm, you know, completely captivated by it. Example, this Supra, when we found that other abandoned one, I jumped straight into researching all about it and then it blew my mind. So obviously I'm coming from a very like, I don't really know much or I can't just point at these cars and know exactly what series they're from, but May did her homework and we got some information from Yokohama to make sure we knew all of this before coming into it. But. I'm gonna let you take over because all I know is these these are like F-series cars from racing at Fuji and all this stuff and that's about it. Yeah, so starting from the top shelf here. The top middle one? These cars all were um, racing on the in the 80s. In the 1980s. 1980s. And to me, I think my favorite one is this one in the middle here. This one in the middle all the way at the top? Yeah. Um, and that's one of the oldest ones. That came after this one at the end yes, though, right? Yes. We'll get to that in a bit. We'll get um, to that in a bit. <laughs> wow, these tires, I don't think have any yeah. air left this in them. This is the first ever racing car that they started um, working on. Like um, developing? Developing. And what's interesting. really interesting about this car is you see on the side it says T. Kenji. So the racer's name was Takahashi Kenji-san. Okay. And he was actually an R&D for Yokohama tires. And mm. So that's how he started getting into racing exactly. tires. Exactly. Basically, he used this car and you know developed his tires through this through racing. That's this, really cool. That this yeah, it's only been forty five years since the. Forty five years. Only so they're still young. Years. Very young. Dang! Wait, that's crazy to think of. I didn't realize yeah, that. It's really crazy. And, yeah. You know, because they're in the the racing scene, that's why they're able to develop and have all these info yep. on having great tires because i can i can remember like going through like old races and stuff when i was researching about the old like uh gt super and stuff mm -hmm. right the jgt jgt you JGTC. know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. um <laughs> and i remember like all of a sudden advent appeared out of nowhere and mm -hmm. it was such an iconic livery right yeah. like like the red and all that yeah. so it stood out and they just all of a sudden were in the scene mm -hmm. and it's just kind of cool to see like oh that makes sense and like you can see that 
it's kind of the Kenji name because what was his, what was his name Takahashi? Yeah, Takahashi Kenji-san. Very cool. He and raced till the fifties. Till the till he was fifty. Yeah. That's cool. So it's like Okachan. Okachan's sixty-four now. Yeah. Killing it. Yeah. So he's gonna be driving a world time attack next year, <laughs> which is crazy. Yeah. The guy's the guy's gonna be driving till till he dies probably, <laughs> <laughs> which will yeah. probably be documented on yeah, YouTube, YouTube knowing yes. him. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. This is crazy. Sorry, I'm really distracted because there's a yeah, freaking yeah. chaser down here with Ketchy's name on the side of it. Yeah. So this is a touring car. Um, oh, the touring se yeah, series. So yeah. I learned about this recently. Yeah. What's also really interesting is a lot of these cars have NK wheels. I'm assuming that's before Advance started developing their own wheels. Probably. Probably, yeah. 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 I'm sure there's a story there. Yeah. This chaser is crazy. It's been caught everywhere. It does not even look like a chaser anymore. Oh, really? Like the whole body's been chopped up? Yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna duck under this wing here. We can't, uh, we can look at this car from the outside, but we can't go inside this car. Nissan's just storing it here. That's cool. The wing is crazy cool. Yeah. It definitely saw some contact. Yeah. That was a big thing about that series. So this was um, raced at JTCC, so that 25, number 25. Oh, they, oh, that's cool. Yeah. JTCC. Uh, yeah, JTCC, that's what I said. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there's actually like a flight, hang on, there's something in the front of it. Let me see if I can get in there. It's, everything's crammed in here for storage, but we got this. Ah, there you go. There's a little photo of Ketchy, Ketchy there, yeah. and the car of what it looked like in its prime. You need to have a oh, look man. At this too. They had some what? ideas on here. <laughs> they just like yeah, stuck the chaser <laughs> badge multiple times. Is that how many rear ends they went through? So they just took the the chaser logo and Maybe, put it across I the top. That's kind of cool. And we're allowed to look inside these things, which is actually a super nice privilege. Man, so cool. I'd love to race one of these old JTC cars. Look how cool that is. And you can definitely tell that uh, Ketchy drove it because of just how the steering wheel column set up for a small person. <laughs> no offense. Oh man. Yeah, so he, he you know, so cool. people cool kids and like this thing, but he did a lot of racing. Oh my gosh, I see what you meant about the body being chopped up. Mm -hmm. All the custom fenders in the rear here. Yep. No, wow. It's pretty crazy, right? Yeah, well, Ketchy was obviously known for his uh, grip racing, right? Mm -hmm. And drifting was kind of just what he did for fun. Yeah. Looking under this car, you can see the engine's gone. And they got the frame in there that holds up the old transmission and everything to keep this car as one piece. It's crazy to look at underneath this thing and just how it all connects. Because the engine, the drivetrain, everything, all of that is part of the chassis in the rear end and all the lower arms and everything connect to it. These old like kind of F-series race cars are insane. And this particular one, what series did you say this raced in, May? That one is in F3000. Uh, F3000. And just forgive me if I'm wrong, but there was the F2000 and the 2000 stands for CC engine yes. capacity, yes. right? Yeah. So the F2000 was a two liter engine mm -hmm. and the 3000 was a three, three liter engine. engine. Yeah. Interesting. Which, this one was the 2001. This one here? Yeah, and then after the series, they made a three, the three liter one. Which, which is the one up, the there. one up there. That one doesn't have a how, how on the top. This one does. Oh yeah, because that's why this one um, has like the full body, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't look more like an F1 car, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And then what's insane about this one is there's a lot of plywood going on here. I don't know if that was added after or what, but maybe that was just in those old days. I don't know. Interesting. Surely not. I mean, maybe that's Kevlar there. It's hard to tell, but that's definitely plywood. I mean, it's the 80s. That's yeah, true. It's the 80s. So it's who knows? They didn't have, maybe they only had... How long has dry carbon fiber been around? Yeah, exactly. Right? This car behind here is insane. So this is an electric car. I don't know too much about this or what series it was used in, but some kind of development car. That's crazy. It really looks... It kind of looks and resembles in the front a little bit like a... Um, uh, Honda... 2000. No. Um, what is wrong with my brain right now? NSX. Interesting. This thing's cool. I can't Honda, tell. Like Corolla 11. Corolla 11? Yeah. Corolla 11, see? Yeah. Yeah, 1991. Is that 1991, crazy? that's wild. You're like two. And I then that's the, the F3000 series without the cowling, right? Yeah. Without the big hood. That's got flywood on it too. <laughs> I'm sure that's just added there now Maybe. before they probably had something else there. Dude, look at the old exhaust on that coming out under the wing there. Yeah. 
So cool. This one still has its engine by the looks of it. It's got all the uh, like trumpets coming out the top. It's hard to see. They're very high up there. What blows my mind is that they're storing these cars on this kind of frame stuff. But then again, these cars on the top don't weigh anything like, no, most of these cars don't weigh anything like they do normally. Yeah. A lot of these got left outside or just abandoned and dumped or given to shops as gifts and then never done anything with. So it's really cool to see this one still kept in really good condition. What's crazy to me is the headlights, right? So these probably would get used for one race and the moment they were shut off, the bulbs would probably crack and blow just because there's nothing there protecting it. Like if any rain or anything got in them and if these bulbs saw any drops of water, they'd pop, right? So it's crazy that there was nothing there. There may have been something there, in, but I don't know. It's not on both of them. That blows my mind. Definitely easy to just quickly unplug and replace. And then same on this side. We can pull this up. Oh, I don't know how these work. So these had a Beams engine in it. They didn't go with a Jay-Z and they were pushed so far back for weight and power restrictions, right? So it's really cool to see how the Supra is such a big engine bay, but such a tiny engine was in these. Now, the Supra we did see in that other yard, the abandoned one, the engine was still in it, but it didn't have the transmission. This has the transmission, but no engine. So trying to you know, find that engine, the old one with all the parts that you would need to make this thing drivable again, probably be very difficult. But the fact that this isn't still in such good condition is mind blowing. And I have heard that they do have all the parts and stuff for it, just not in it. And then the interior, once again, built for a small person, not me. You don't need to shame short people. I'm not shaming anyone, it's just, <laughs> I can't fit in this at all. What's crazy, see this? This is an air jack, so they put compressed air in the front of the car and then they have four of these all around the car and it lifts it up so you can just change the wheels and everything really fast. Yeah, right? yeah, you see That's that all the time in the pits. Yeah. Doot, doot. That's a dream for like an FD car, like for, for like drifting, you just go, tsh, done. So yeah, the pedal box on this, all really cool. The old design of all the dash, the big blower fan with all the different hoses going around to move air around inside the cabin. It's crazy cool. Are you fit? Kind of. Look where my knee is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this would be a, a tough car for me to drive without. Your, your, your body isn't even fitting too. I can't even lift up this leg to reach the clutch. <laughs> and your head's not all the way up. Oh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> the roll cage is... Um, doesn't go all the way to the roof. It actually starts like here. Mm. And there's about this much space between the roll cage and the roof. So this roll cage wouldn't have any purpose if I rolled it, but very cool. Everything's all here, shifter and that kind of stuff. It's so crazy. All the switches, the ABS control. You, oh man, pass me the camera. I want to show them this. This is wild. All the old switches and dials. Very cool. Look at this, like I don't even know what this is. That's trippy to me. Wow. If anyone knows what this system is, I'm curious. I'm sitting here going, where's a cigarette lighter? <laughs> oh man. It's crazy cool, all the old switches and buttons. I, I wouldn't dare touch anything. I don't want to break anything. Knowing me, I'll like flick a switch and the whole dashboard will fall out. This, this old school dash by Denzo, very cool. Very, very cool. Got the AE92 here, which this, after checking, is actually an AE101, we've been told, not the 111. And this is when the rules changed for the Touring, the J, uh, JTCC, yeah. where everyone had to have a four-door. So, and then it obviously went into the Chaser after that. So that's kind of the evolution there of the Touring Racing Series here. That's cool. So this thing is kind of fresh. This is the, the new 660s. And these are essentially like a little Honda two-door kind of like sports car. This They're really the cool. This is the car that my neighbor wakes me up every morning. Well, no, I think he got rid of this and got a no, no, Hachiroku, he, right? He has both. He has both of them now. Yes. He has a very loud exhaust, that neighbor. <laughs> He's a very interesting neighbor. 
He has like probably the loudest exhaust, like straight pipe version of this, and then now a Hachidoku. about your Z. <laughs> and then he'll complain about any of my cars and they have silences in them, but he doesn't run silences. So it's, it's, it's a little weird situation. I just don't bring the race cars home anymore. Um, this, this just, the livery looks so good on this. Oh, the livery looks amazing. This livery looks awesome on anything. The Yokohama Advan liveries always look good on anything. But there's a whole race series of these. Now, technically these are K cars, so they're really, really cheap. Um, to maintain and keep on the road in Japan, but they're also sporty, they're manual. You know, they, you, you can get turbo kits and all that kind of stuff for them and all that type of thing. So they're a really nice car. And you can get Advan wheels and tires for them, make it super grippy. They're really cool. I don't, actually, I need to see if I fit in one of these one day. Kind of little fun car, but the convertible aspect, you can get a hard top for them too. So you can have the soft top or the hard top. But yeah, they're, they're, these have taken over quite a lot in um, uh, the Japanese car scene. Just a lot of people getting them because they're a cheap new car that's still a sports too. car. Yeah, lots of aero kits for them. You can get, um, I think the even GTR, Livery Walk makes yeah, a yeah, kit for them now. GTR yeah, there's a lot of different kits for them now. I really like this. This kind of like green on the tire here. It reminds me of HKS. I think um, this is the, I forgot the name for it, but Advan made a sustainable tire thing. Oh, so it's like recycled rubber or something? It's a new rule already now in Formula right now in Japan. Oh. Ha everyone has to use that kind of Tire. spec. Yeah. Interesting. And that's why it has the grain on it. There you go. I didn't know that. Yeah. Interesting. See? I know more. About yeah, look at you. I even wore red today because I knew I was coming to Avman. Getting a little bit of a closer look of the chaser. So cool. The front end is wild. There's not much space to move around in here, obviously, being that it's storage, but very very nice it's an old zenki one with the yellow corner lights also the, the zenki tail lights too are on this the red thing this thing cracks me up i know like this is the chaser logo and stuff but it does kind of remind me a lot of the soviet <laughs> oh man so cool we're now back in the car and heading home and dealing with Tokyo traffic, the usual kind of thing. Uh, we pretty much spent our entire day hanging out with Yokohama and just checking out all the cars. I, I, I'm completely mind blown with some of the stuff they had there and also just learning about the history of Advan Yokohama mm. and how they came to be was super, super cool. I love it when companies come from, you know, someone that was obsessed with the motorsport and all that kind of stuff and develop their product yeah. off their love for that, if that makes sense. You know, wanting to be better and faster and figuring out the science and everything behind mm -hmm. what makes a good tire because of their passion in the motorsport, if that makes sense. So it's really cool to be not only one, um, being able to check all that stuff out, but two, being a part of them now and being able to do stuff with them. So that's also good. Obviously, massive thank you to Advan Yokohama for their support in with our FD endeavors here in Japan and our wheels and all that kind of stuff on the FD car. But that aside, uh, just in general, amazing company. And uh, it's also cool to be working with companies in Japan that are actually changing their mindset and doing, you know, new things, if that makes sense, and open to, you know, people like us, content creators, and being able to show you guys things that haven't really been shown before. So that's also really cool. But yeah, I know you had a good time. Yeah. May loves the livery, the Advan livery. Uh, just coming to think of it, like, I know there's like the HKS livery, Calsonic livery, and, and, and obviously the Advan livery. Is there any other livery that you guys think was as iconic as those throughout racing history? Let me know in the comment section. And also let me know, what was your favorite car that you saw there today? I think for me, it has to be the Mark IV Supra. I think that's probably the coolest, but also uh, some of those F, the F2000 cars were cool too. Mm, the Chaser cool. was awesome. Yeah, yeah, everything's cool, but like if I was to pick one, definitely the old Supra just because of <laughs> that history and also the other Supra that we saw that's been, you know, rotting away outside, which is super sad. But still, nonetheless, very cool cars. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little kind of inside look. We'll be doing more stuff with Advan Yokohama moving forward, which I'm really excited about. So keep an eye out for that. But thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.